What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to get Diablo 2 up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now I'm using the 4GB model here, but the 1 or the 2 should work pretty well. In this video I'm going to go over everything we need to do to get this game up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4, except for give you a download link for the game. This game is $10, you probably already own it, and it's definitely worth buying if you don't. I'm also going to show you how to go full screen, because as you can see now I'm kind of running it in windowed mode. But we're going to be using Wine to do this, and all of this comes from one of my good buddies over at Pi Labs. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He does a lot of awesome work with old school games running on the Pi 4. He just got Half-Life up and running, so definitely check his channel out. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Diablo 2 up and running on the Raspberry Pi 4. This runs really well, as you just saw. The first thing you'll need, obviously, is Diablo 2. I've just taken this from my Windows PC, placed it on a USB drive, and transferred it to my desktop. I'm going to leave it on my desktop in a folder called Diablo 2. These are all the files we need to run the game on Windows and all the files we need to run it on the Raspberry Pi 4. Next on the list, I have a text file you can download from the description. This is going to make life easy on a lot of people. It has everything we need to get this up and running. I also have links to all the downloads needed from Pi Labs, and I'm going to update this before it's ready for download. And I'm going to leave a few more links down here to his YouTube channel and site because he has some awesome stuff over there, and you definitely need to check him out. He just put up a video of Half-Life running and it runs really well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open up a terminal. You can press Control alt t on your keyboard. It'll bring it up. First thing I recommend doing is an update. Definitely update your Raspbian build. Like I mentioned, everything you need is in the text file you can download from the description. So the first thing we're going to do is update and upgrade our system. sudo apt update and an sudo apt upgrade. You can copy and paste, makes it easier. Press enter. Now I already have mine updated. This could take a little while depending on your internet connection. So I'm gonna skip this part for my video. I'm already fully updated. Number two, we need to install wine. So we can do that by typing in sudo apt install wine. You can copy it, paste it, press enter. It's gonna ask us if we're sure, we'll press Y. Enter, it's going to install Wine for us. Next thing we want to do is launch Wine. So we'll type in Wine, CFG. From within Wine, we're going to head to Graphics, and we're going to emulate a virtual desktop at 800 by 600. You can try different resolutions if you'd like, but I find this works really well with Diablo 2. Click Apply, OK. Now we need to download the modified Mesa drivers. So we're just going to open up a browser. And we're going to head over to the first link in the text file. Just give you an idea here. It's a Google Drive link. We're going to download and download. This is Pi Labs modified Mesa 20 driver. Once this is finished downloading, we're just going to go ahead and show in folder. From here, we want to extract it. We'll just double click. There's several ways to do this, but we're going to extract. And I'm going to extract it directly to my downloads. Click open, extract. When this is finished, we'll close the extraction window down. We'll open up the folder we just extracted. And inside of here, we have a folder called Mesa. We're going to copy this, and we're going to go to our Pi location. So this is Home, Pi, and we're going to paste it right here. This is where we're going to be pulling that Mesa driver from when we launch Diablo 2. So we got the driver out of the way. We now need to download some launch files. I'll just open up a new tab. From that text file, we're going to head over to the next link, and we want to download the libd 2 game saarm.exe.soxe. Once that's finished downloading, we're going to show in folder. We're going to extract this right to our downloads. It's finished extracting. We're going to open up the folder and we're going to take this libd 2 game and we're going to place it right in our Diablo folder. So we now have the correct launch augments. 
in our Diablo folder. We can actually close the browser down now, and all that's left to do is launch Diablo 2. Now, in order to launch it, this is kind of a long command, but I have it here. We're just going to right click, copy. What this is going to do is load that new Mesa driver that we placed in our home Pi. It's also going to load those launch files for Diablo 2. So we're going to open up our Diablo 2 folder. From the very top, Tools, Open Current Folder and Terminal, and we're just going to paste that command right in here. Press Enter. We are now running Diablo 2 on our Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see here, this is the Diablo 2 Lords of Destruction expansion. Single player, I'll just go with the expansion character here. Now you might notice that the screen is a bit small here, and we can fix that, but we do have to change the resolution of our Raspberry Pi 4 screen. Unfortunately, the Raspberry Pi 4 doesn't do well with scaling, and neither does Wine itself. But we can change this. If you press escape on your keyboard, you can go to options, video options, make sure you're set to 800 by 600, lighting quality works great on high, blended shadows on, everything works great in this game on the Pi 4. But the window size might be a little small for some people. So we're going to go ahead and fix that now. We're going to exit the game. I'm just going to save and exit. Exit Diablo 2. Now it's time to add a new mode line or a new resolution to our Raspberry Pi 4 so we can choose it from within the menu. Control Alt T, open up our terminal, and again, we're gonna go to that text file. Right here. We're gonna add a new mode of 800 by 600, VSync, 60 hertz. I'm gonna copy, and I'm gonna paste it right here. Now I'm probably gonna get a warning because it's already installed, and I definitely did. Now we need to add that new mode. Press enter, and you can close this down. So now we have a new resolution mode. Up in the top left hand corner, we can go to the little Raspberry Pi icon. Preferences, screen configuration, configuration, configure, screens, HDMI 1, resolution, 800 by 600, and this is at 60 hertz. I'm gonna choose this resolution, configure, and I'm gonna apply it. I do have to turn my screen capture off because it kind of messes up. So I had to go with the old school style of screen capture using a camera. Either way, we'll be able to get by with this. Go to your Diablo 2 folder. We're gonna launch it just like we did before. And if you've already pasted in that command, you can just use your arrow keys to get right back to it. Press enter, give it a little time to start up. And as soon as you click on the window, it'll go to full screen mode and you're now playing Diablo 2 in full screen on your Raspberry Pi 4. Give me a quick sec, I need to adjust my camera settings. But there it is, Diablo 2 running on the Pi 4 runs really well. I've got everything maxed out, I mean as much as you can with this older Diablo 2 game. But it functions perfectly fine on the Raspberry Pi 4. And by the way, I'm not overclocked at all. Doing a little bit of an overclock may net you a little better performance, but it runs fine like it is. Your reputation depends on it. I do want to give a big shout out to Pi Labs for providing the tutorial for us. He's got a lot of great stuff over on his channel, and like I mentioned, he just got Half-Life up and running on the Pi 4, and I'm pretty sure it's running at 60 FPS. You can check out his channel from the link in the description, and if you're interested in getting Half-Life up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4, just let me know, and I can probably whip up a quick tutorial. And to exit the game, to get back to your Raspbian desktop, you're just going to press escape on your keyboard, save and exit, exit Diablo 2, and we can change that resolution right back to 1080p. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. I have that text file down there that you can download directly on your Raspberry Pi and paste all of those commands into Terminal to make it so much easier. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on the Pi 4, just let me know in the comments below. It'd also be really cool if you could hit that like button or maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, thanks for watching.